I didn't hear you come in. I'm a father, so I don't get to sleep that much, so I take naps when I can. Welcome to Rock and Roll Reading. I am your... I was going to think of something witty to say, but I don't have anything. I'm your host, Mr. Brian. How's everybody doing? How was your 4th of July? Tell me everything. You go first. Mm-hmm. And then you? Your dad let off what kind of firework? Ooh, well, I hope you were safe. What did everybody eat? That's better than what I had. I think I had a hamburger. That was the first time I've had a hamburger in like a month. And uh, let me tell you, it was amazing. It was amazing. Cheat day. Ah, so anything else new we need to talk about? Did you guys miss me? I missed you. I always do. And once again, hopefully the library will be opening up soon to do story times. But until then, you must just bear with me in my garage, also known as my story time temple. Anyway, you guys ready for some songs? What about some stories? What about songs and stories in no particular order done by me? Ha 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 giggity. All right. So... I know we switched it up a little bit lately, but let's bring back an oldie but goodie that I do way too much. Do you guys remember how to shake the sillies out? <laughs> kind of like that. But it'll be a lot cuter when you do it, because when I do it, it looks like this. You want to see what it looks like close up? <laughs> anyway, so if you don't know, shaking the sillies out means kind of like what I just did. Dancing like nobody's watching. And it's a dance that only you can do. No two people can do it the same because no two people are the same. And that's the beauty of people. We are all individuals. No matter how much we try not to be, we are our own special people. Anyway, so dancing like nobody's watching means you dance like nobody's watching. So it doesn't matter if anybody's watching. You just be you and let the music move you however it may. And with that said, let us commence with the festivities. Oh, sorry. I don't want my strap to fall off. And I should have done this earlier, huh? Nothing like being professional, right? Can you shake, shake, shake the ceilings out? Shake, shake, shake the ceilings out. Shake, shake, shake the ceilings out. Wiggle your waggles away. Let's clap. Can you clap, clap, clap the crazies out? Clap, clap, clap the crazies out. Clap, clap, clap the crazies out. Wiggle your waggles away. Let's stomp, 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 stomp the ceilings out. Stomp, stomp, stomp the ceilings out. Stomp, stomp. Stomp the ceilings and wiggle your waggles away. Can you shake, shake, shake the ceilings out? Shake, shake, shake the ceilings out. Shake, shake, shake the ceilings out. Wiggle your waggles away. Wiggle your waggles away. Wiggle your waggles away. Yeah. All right. Good job, Brian. I'm not gonna lie, I'm winded. <laughs> ah, anyway, can everybody say hello? Can I hear a hello again over here? Let me do my Hulk Hogan, for those of you that are old enough to remember Hulk Hogan. All right, say hello, Brian. And I say, hello, people. Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello, can you clap your hand, can you touch your toe, oh, hold on, see, remember when I said I was hoping that my guitar strap wouldn't fall off, well, guess what, it fell off, all right, back to it, can you touch your toes, now let me see you turn around, now can you stretch real high, can you yell hello on the count of three? One, two, three. Hello, hello, hello. Can you stop your beat? Hello, hello. Can you stop your beat? 
Can you touch your tongue? Can you turn around? Now let me see you stretch real high. Can you yell hello on the count of three? One, three. Hello, hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? You ready? Let's go fast. Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Now let me see you stretch real high. Can you yell hello? Everybody on the count of three, give me a big hello. One, two, three. Hello, hello. Cha-cha-cha. All right. Thanks, you guys have been a great audience. I'll see you next time. Just kidding, just kidding. You ain't getting rid of me that easily. All right, let's go. The first book we have today on our literary journey is A Birthday for a Cow. Sounds delightful, let's see what happens. All right, today is Cow's birthday. Everybody go. That's the sound of that little noisemaker right there. <laughs> and then go, yippee! Ah, pig and mouse are going to make a cow. <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. Pig and mouse are going to make a cow the best birthday cake ever. And then the duck says, cake? They put flour and sugar and eggs in a big bowl. And then Duck says, and a turnip! Because who doesn't want a turnip in their cake, right? I think that's a given. A turnip! Uh-oh. Then the mouse says, no, Duck, we will not put in a turnip. Next, they mix it all together with, Duck says, a turnip! He's really excited. And then Mouse says, no, Duck, a spoon. Oh. Then they put it in the oven, and Duck says, can I put in a turnip? Can it go in too? And they ice and decorate the cake. And on top they put, Duck says, I know. What do you guys think it is? That's right, a turnip. And then Mouse yells, no turnips, Duck. Candles, candles. That was pretty harsh, Duck. And then, Everybody says, look, here comes cow now. Here comes the big surprise. And everybody say, happy birthday, cow. Happy birthday, cow. She's gonna be so happy. And then cow says, oh my gosh, is that what I think it is? Oh boy, this is the best birthday ever. He's excited about that cake, huh? And then cow says, is that a turnip? <laughs> That's when you guys could laugh. Oh, uh, now pig and mouse. Guess what they're stuck doing now. First cow says, mmm, and he eats the turnip and... Then pig says, good cake. And then the mouse says, burp. The end. So raise your hand if you want to turn up on your cake for your birthday. This guy does. <laughs> so this book is by Jan Thomas. And if you get a chance, go check out. They have a couple books that are like this that are really, really cute. All right. And the last book is called I Am So Strong. Let me see you flex your muscles. Yeah. Now do this one. 
and then this one. All right, good job. All right, this one's called I Am So Strong. There's Wolf right there. Sorry about the glare. One day after a fine and filling meal, the wolf decided to go for a walk in the woods. Let's turn this down, there we go. Walk in the woods. Just a thing for the digestion, he said. And while I'm at it, I'll find out what everyone thinks of me. First, he came across a very small rabbit. Hello there, sugar bun, he said. Tell me, who do you think is the strongest around here? Oh, you are Mr. Wolf, absolutely, definitely, no doubt about it, replied the rabbit. Pleased as punch, the wolf went on through the woods. Oh, it's so good to be me, he said, breathing in the scents of oak and mushrooms. Next, he came upon Little Red Riding Hood. I remember her. My dear, how well that crimson suits you. You look sweet enough to eat. Tell me, my little strawberry, who is the strongest in the woods? Oh, you are absolutely yes you, Mr. Wolf. There's no question, she answered. You're the strongest in the woods. Ha! Just as I thought I am the strongest. It doesn't matter how often I'm told. One can never have too many compliments, said the wolf. Oh, do you guys know who they are? The three little... That's right, the three little pigs. Then he met the three little pigs. Hello, what have we here? Three little pigs a long way from home? That's a bit careless. Tell me, little bacon bits, who is the strongest in the woods? The, the strongest, the toughest, the handsomest, that's you, of course. Big bad wolf, the piglets cried together. Oh, see, he's flexing his muscles, walking in the woods, chest puffed up. Everyone knows I'm the fiercest and the cruelest. I am the big bad wolf. They're all scared to death of me. I am the king. The wolf trumpeted at the top of his voice. A little further on, he came upon one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's the seven dwarfs. A little further on, he came upon the seven dwarfs. Hey ho, you hard working little chaps. Do you know who the strongest in the woods? He asked. The strongest? Nah, that's you, Mr. Wolf, the little men said all together. Aha, that settles it. There's no contest. Everyone agrees. I'm the terror of the woods, the baddest guy around, howled the wolf. Uh-oh, that looks like a little frog or something. What do you think that is? Next, he came upon a little, to oh, it's a toad. He came upon a little toad of some sort. Hello, horrid thing. I suppose you know who the strongest in the woods is, asked the wolf. Of course I do. Uh, it's my mother, replied the little toad of some sort. Uh-oh, the wolf is mad. Look at that. He said, what, you pathetic little gargoyle, miserable gizzard gumboil, tell me again, I can't have heard you properly. Who is the strongest? What's that? I told you, my mother is the strongest and also the kindest, unless someone's giving me a hard time replied the baby dragon. Who are you? Who, me? Oh, oh, I believe that's mom saying it. Who are you? Who, me? Oh, me. I'm just a harmless little wolf, said the wolf. 
and he prudently backed away. The end. <laughs> oh, the ego on that wool. It was short and sweet, but thank you guys so much for taking the time and stopping by and hanging out with me. I do appreciate it. And once again, I didn't hear any, anything from anybody last week, so I'm going to plug it again. If you want to hear any books in particular or any songs, I would absolutely love to do it. I'm always looking for new material so I don't get stuck doing the same songs. So if you have any ideas or any requests, please, please, please let me know, and I'd like to do it. Or if you just want to say hi, you can find me on the old Facebook internet at... Uh, on Facebook, you could look me up. It's under Rock and Roll Reading. That's R O C K, the letter N. I gotta figure out, remember how to spell it. R O C K N R O L L Reading. And then you'll see a little, little icon of a cartoon guy that has hair like mine, but he's much better looking. That's my little, little man guy for Rock and Roll Reading. So if you can stop by, say hi. And I will see you next time. Be good to each other. And keep on reading. Go down to the library. It's all free. Can you believe it? What a great service. Until next time, see you later. Peace out.